I'm feeling like I ain't took a nap in weeks. weeks. I'm up, couple thousand tuck, writing back the G. The I'm stuck, diamonds in the cut, make an actress see. Hey, Sports, drugs, and entertainment think I'm Master P. Uh. Hey, what up? It's 929WDUP. What up? It's home of Thomas Hip Hop and all the beat. We back with the SDE podcast. Everybody, do some cells, man. Y'all know the routine. Yo, what up? It's Gino Rico. I'm back. Well, Leo, what's up? That's it. That's it. That's it. Short and simple. Short and simple. with the golden mic. You know? <laughs> Big thrill, the extra blazing one. Yeah, in the building. The extra blazing one, yo. It's like 92 talk, yo. Yeah, that's, that's definitely so, the cow skit. 93 and a half. And now, the boy's back. LL Cool Ray, aka Young Ric Flair, aka, AKA Live Ain't Poppin' right now, aka No Viewers, aka I Need More Friends, AKA I want all of them in the overlay too. Every single one of them. Not a thing. You ain't paying enough for that. All for love. You right, you right, you right. Alright, man. Give me your name. Alright, so this week, you are no longer right, the big brother. We are now big as hell. Big as, as hell. A shout out, as hey, a yo, shout out to my boy. I feel like you owe money. I don't. I don't. No, that, 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 hell's that, that, a that, destination. Oh no, hell's a place. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Well, big as shout hell. Shout out back. to uh, Jerry Mercado. I don't know if y'all heard about the young man who escaped <laughs> the prison, but uh, you know, he's the one who gave me that oh. nickname. <laughs> Wait, what? In prison. <laughs> Jerry Mercado, shout out. I know you can't Keep hear us because they don't allow radios in Carl Robinson. But, he escaped uh, prison? Yeah, man, he escaped, ran down to Georgia. Well, Chopper? I mean, you, you snitching on more air? Is he on the loose right now? Nah, nah, he's yeah, he he back. He's back. He's back. You're trying to snitch. Snitching on air? You picked him up at 385? Nah, they pissed him up down in Georgia. That was crazy on these streets. Down in Georgia, they got him. But anyway, so we are no longer Big Brother. We are now Big as Hell. Smiley, I'm gonna need that in the overlay. Bah! Camera one. Yeah. Use an emoji for hell though, like the fire emoji. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get it going. So yo, G man, what we let's talking go. about, man? Alright, first and foremost, let's give a moment of silence for a uh, fallen NBA player, Rasul Butler, and his wife. Her what? name escapes me, but let's have a moment of silence for that. She was on huh? American LaBelle. Idol, right? LaBelle. She was on American yeah. Idol? She was on American Idol. American Idol, yeah. yeah. So a uh, moment of silence for them. They died last night or early this morning in a car accident. When do we go back? <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of disrespectful cats on nah, the hello, hello, like, yo, that's a great question. How long is the proper moment of silence? How long is it? It's a moment. I don't know. Why does the moment count to, like, equate to, like, in seconds? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Southern <laughs> Mississippi. Yo, I, I don't know what I just got. I don't know you guys that are live right now with me were silent also. <laughs> All I had to do was look at my I would still would have, I still would have been silent right now. Yo, yo, yo but how, how long is the moment of silence? Yeah, for real, that's a great question. I think it depends on how many All-Star appearances you had. Oh boy, this should have been a quick. But how many? How many? I ain't gonna say what I want to say. Gotta set me up. Yo, nah. was she eliminated quick? Like, did um, she sing? Was she eliminated? No, she finished thirteenth. Out of what? Thirteen? Uh, out of. Out of millions. Nah, out of hundreds of thousands. Hey yo, I feel I feel like I can finish about top ten come right on, now. Come on, in American on. Idol. Come on. <laughs> nah, yo, hey yo, hey yo, anybody on that live? Just check it in, man. Anybody reacting on my joint, man? Yo, please. Chime in and let us know how long a moment of silence is. How long is a moment of silence? Great question. They just gave us a moment of silence. How long is a moment of silence? How long is a moment of silence? Yeah, I feel like it should be five seconds. 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 Three or four minutes, damn Listen, it. Hey, I need a real up. long moment of silence. <laughs> I want a day of silence. Yo, when a wrestler dies, <laughs> like, like you know, North Korea, I'm King Jong-un. <laughs> you, you got the five seconds. All right, let's go. All right, all right, all right. Big, big, yo, Matt. What Sean up, said five seconds. Five said minutes that? of silence. Sean. Sean who? Got it. Oh, what up, yo? Five seconds? Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds in it. He didn't say what up. Oh, we got we got 30 seconds. We got five seconds. Katrina, what up? Karen, what up? You're killing me lately, yo. All right, yo. 30 seconds. I don't know what it is. I don't know. 24 uh, second uh, shot clock is NBA. We should have did that. That's Hall of Fame. Uh, All right. Ah, uh, but yeah, let's go on, man. <laughs> hey, hey, we're going to start off um, in the NBA, man, that Blake trade. Blake got traded um, moment of from the Blake. Clippers. The yeah, moment of silence for Blake. <laughs> no, moment of silence for Doc Rivers. His job is yeah. gone. He's oh, gone after the season. Yeah, hey, yo, yeah. how bad does DeAndre moment Jordan of feel, though? Austin Rivers, too, because once um, his daddy gone, he gone. DeAndre Jordan signed that deal, thinking everyone's going to stay in place. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, he's the last one standing. <laughs> What's that meme with, 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 um, Will, Smith? Fresh, with Will Smith in yeah, the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. last episode, like, where everybody moved out. He came to work. He's like, yo, where is everybody? What, no furniture? Nothing. I know, man. Like, yo, they actually, like, Chris Paul went and cried. 
Yeah. It was great. intense, yo, trying to keep DeAndre there. And he's the first one to bounce. Boop. And then yeah, he was like, crazy. thanks, DeAndre. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? Did he choose to? Or? Good, hey, Trey, he had to agree to something for that. He had to actually agree to something yeah. to make that move oh, happen. Oh, because he had no trade clause? No, I, I don't no know trade. the details, but he have no trade. No, he ain't having no trade? Who's it? Not DeAndre? Chris no, Paul. Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Oh. Yeah, I mean, the Clippers, they did it because they got all those people back. Oh. But all right, all right, so what what the Clippers got in return, you think it's worth it for Blake? Yeah, I mean, the first and second round draft picks, Avery Bradley and the other dude. Tobias Harris? Tobias Harris. Tobias Tobias Harris. Harris. Yeah, it's not a good name. But look, I think he got some he solid players Tobias. and some solid picks. Tobias. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Blake can either one of those players give you what Blake can give you when he's I mean, healthy. Tobias is 18 a game, and um, Avery Bradley's what, 15 a game, and he plays D? No, he does play. So, he got a first oh, and second round draft. Blake hasn't played a full oh, season how long, round though. Matter of fact, is Blake even active right now? Like, yeah, can he play? You yeah, going to play right yeah. oh, I was no, sure. no, he didn't play last night, but he's, of course, he's, he's he, physically he just, But he hasn't yeah. played a full season how long? It's been a, it's yeah, been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Hey, we going to the East, and then he got DeAndre Jordan, the twin, pretty much. Like, Drummond plays just like DeAndre. So it's yeah. the same dynamic with well, two bigs. Yeah, he went to the right fit. I'm not familiar with the Pistons. Who who's their their um? Stan Van Gundy's the coach. Um, the what's my man named um Jackson? I think Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson. Yeah, Jackson. Oh, from Jackson Thunder. Yeah, he, he tore his Achilles. Oh, oh, wow, did he? Did he? It was something. No, hey, if I'm the Pistons, sprain, sprain angle, if I'm the Pistons and and you hear about uh, Kemba Walker being on the market now, yeah, I'll, I'll you, pull the trigger, Kemba. bang bang, to get Kemba. To. You have Kemba Blake. Kemba Blake know. and um, Drummond. Well, look, that's not yeah, in the that's East. Not, that's not a bad look. We do in the East is wide open right now. But Kemba's not. Kemba's not your typical point guard though. Kemba's not a not a point guard that's gonna yeah. be looking for. You already got a player like Kemba. What was the best player? What's the best player that Kemba ever played with in the NBA? Richard Hamilton. Dwight Howard. Oh, in the NBA. No, oh, I don't know. Batum, Nicholas Batum. Yeah, Okafor. Batum. Okafor. That's who. Okafor. Okafor. Nah, he played Okafor. He, he played with Mukah. He didn't play Okafor. Nah. Oh, no, he didn't play with him. Hey, show. My bad. Nah, man. Fired the status toots. What up, kid? <laughs> Yo, fired. Hey, yeah, so I mean, yo, I don't think my, it came out nowhere though. I, yeah, it's not crazy. Past two. I don't, I don't, I don't picture yeah, Blake staying there huh? past, the, see, past no. the summer. No. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. Who, who, who just know? ended judge, but he just started a five year deal, right? Something like that. Who yeah, is? he locked in for Blake. a minute. Blake. No, well, he locked he in for a five year deal, but now the Pistons got to pay it. Yeah. yeah, so he can't even leave. Oh, he can't leave. He's stuck. He just signed that deal. Did y'all see that? Y'all see that? Um, that. Wasn't really a meme, but the little video, the do ha ha Davis meme. Nah. He was pretending he was Blake Griffin showing up in Detroit. You know who ha ha Davis is? Never heard. Well, he all, he got the black. It's the black dude, bald head, and then there's always a dude, and uh, he'd be like, um, oh, I can't think of what he. Anyway, he was. Yo, we're he was live Blake. right now, bro. I don't care. I know we gotta do this. Uh, uh, pre anyway, <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> and it was talking about Blake Griffin gonna get robbed when he get to Detroit. Oh man. So if you know who Ha Ha Davis is, look it up. It's right. a funny video. I'm making my, my views go down, man. Yeah. So, 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 so Leo, man, what, what's your thoughts? That's black Girl, on black crimes. The, right? the most the, the most famous Johnny Blazes or whatever you said. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> the extra blazing one. <laughs> can I get, can I get, can I get Leo's prop? Yeah. Dang. Now, that's a bad move to put your uh, your um, yeah, yeah, you'll never you're live. Put your phone you can't up put on the ground. I should just lean up against Ray's because he don't got no views. Why oh, <laughs> you gonna just throw me out there? We still live. Oh, oh, hey, we still on the oh, FM oh, though. Like everybody act like it's strictly internet. Like we on the FM down. Like we can hear us in the whip right hey, now. Yo, I got hundred people watching right now. <laughs> they ain't just tune in yet. <laughs> that's all. That's good. That's it. You know, um, yeah, it's like like say some boy thick bro that's blazing one, you know. <laughs> you said that. You said that. The world that. Like says that. that. The huh? world says that. Trust me. Oh, that's because you populated the world. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Go to, go to commercial. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yo, we're about to get into Flavor Flay featuring uh, Lil Boozy right here. <laughs> I'm feeling like I ain't took a nap in weeks. weeks. I'm up, couple thousand tuck, writing back the Jeep. The I'm stuck, diamonds in the cut, make an actress see. Hey, Sports, drugs, and entertainment, think I'm Master uh. P. Hey, what up? It's 929WDUP, the love yeah. number. Talent, hip hop, and RP. It's SDE. G, what we talking about next, man? And next, we're going to James Harden, a 60 point triple double. Oh, man. That's, that's crazy, crazy, man. man. Boy, First time ever happened. Yeah, Orlando Magic, too. you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, you're an Orlando whoa, fan? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're an Orlando yes. fan? Yes. What? I've always been an Orlando fan. No, but like, since oh, yeah. you know what? You have been I've always, always been an Orlando fan. Only been in the Who's league. your favorite Orlando fan? Yo, they're the only good team to pick in the 90s, right? Uh -huh. You had Penny and Shaq. Penny. D. Uh, Scott. Penny, Penny, was, Penny was my favorite player. And Royal. T. Mac was my favorite player. Yo, Dennis okay. Scott. Mm -hmm. You ever see, you seen him lately, yo? 
He looked like that <laughs> uncle at the picnic that be saying inappropriate stuff. He said, look at him all the time. <laughs> Back in my day. Hey, hey, oh, I, mean, I, I, I remember when your mama used to walk through the hallway with her panties on. Hey, yo, I ain't in front, yo. Back in yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him at the Source Awards, yo. I saw him at the Source Awards, yo. He had um, the Biggie Glass and the Versace drinks on, yeah. and he was a presenting the award, yo. He looked like. He was like. He looked like he might have a couple of sexual assaults on his Yeah, belt. yeah, you're gonna hear the Me Too <laughs> story about him yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're gonna get kicked off of NBA TV. Hey, yeah. Oh, that's really yeah. a thing? Me Too? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I, I'm yeah. not even touching yeah. that. Yeah. 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 All right, so, James Harden, 60 James point, triple double. I mean, what do you guys think of that? Is, that? is that better than Kobe's 81 points? No, because it's still a 21 point difference, and. I mean, yo, you could just, you could just, you know what I mean, pad your stats at the end of the game and get a couple more assists, a couple more rebounds. You drop 81. That's the closest thing to Will? I, I don't think so. That's my opinion. Yo, whole 81. That, a triple I, I double is You drop 60, you still got to drop another 21 to get that. Nah, I still, I still think that 60 point triple double is, is more. I mean, he actually points. accounted for 80, 83 points. You have to, you have to think. To, to score 60 and to get people involved, that's something else. I mean, Kobe had, Kobe had like six assists, seven no, assists. Didn't. Kobe uh, had two assists that game. I'll pull it up. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll pull it up. It up. Kobe had it's two just, assists that game. And, and, and listen, it's how many times? And he yeah, was ball, jacked actually. too. He yeah. was jacked. Kobe had two assists that game. Harden, Harden, he Harden played do. within the game. Harden, but Kobe's on fire. Kobe shot like 50 percent though. It wasn't like. But yo, to have a. Double, I'm a triple double with 60 points. That's crazy. Oh, no question. Man. How, many times, how many times has that been done I, in, in the league? Zero. I'd rather, the league? I'd rather have that than done. 81. In my opinion. Yeah, I'd rather have the 60 point triple double than the 81. Yeah, that's just because crazy. if you got the 81, they're still saying, well, Will had 100. They won, didn't they? Yeah, but everybody recognized that Will played a different era when everybody was well, coal miners him. and it was all well, everybody showed it. But listen, Will, though, okay, so, so, so that, that makes it even better because this dude had 61. In a league, in, a, in an era where people are crazy athletic, and he had a triple yeah. double. Shame on you, Jonathan Simmons. Damn, and you're right, man. Evan Fournier. <laughs> you know, I'm right. <laughs> what's that dude with? Yeah, two assists. Yo, yeah. what's that? The player <laughs> with that? the hair in the way. Because that was the thing that bothered me when he uh, died. Oh, oh Alfred Payton. Uh, oh my oh, God. What a horrible Shame hair. Shame on all you guards. What a horrible guys, Terrible. Yeah. I mean, I saw layup after layup in the highlights. Like, where's your pride as a man and a professional? There is none. The 60 point triple double. There is I none. mean, people will remember Jalen Rose because he guarded Kobe in that 81 point game. Who they play? The, the Raptors. Raptors? What's the Raptors? Raptors? Yeah. Wow. But Jalen said Kobe How many had about 18. Yo, Kobe but shot, shot in like 50, four minutes. Kobe <laughs> shot 53% from the field, though. Well, what was it since like? I mean, he had two assists. Yeah, two I mean, he had 81 points. points. How many, how many rebounds he had? Yeah, six. How many okay. shots did he take? Uh, he took 46. Yeah, he all set. That's right. 60 but that's, points. But you did crazy. But, but listen, he had to do it to win the game. Right, it wasn't listen, like he just came out jacking. When, he when, he, when, he scored, game. when he scored 60, his last game, he took 39 shots. Okay. Man. So, in comparison, I mean, he, he did shoot well. Yo, I still have his game, last game on my DVR. I would, I would definitely Do still you? take the triple-double. Yeah. If you get a race, you'll be upset. Hey, hey, you want to sure man. Matter of fact, yo, my man, Devin, <laughs> Devin Booker yeah, dropped I'm, 70. I'm a, I'm a t Devin Booker dropped 70. Yeah. Who, and lost. Oh, yeah, that's right. Nobody cares about light-skinned people. Anyway, um, <laughs> hey, yo, people man, hear me on the other side. Let's not over. My boy said 61 over the 80. He said that about your biological son. Oh, my goodness. My fault. I ain't know that. I ain't know you've been the Phoenix year and a half <laughs> stay in the shadows. I ain't know you've been the Phoenix like a year and a half. Man. Hey, yo, first off, we got Steph. We had Obama. Jay-Z light skin. Jay Will Smith light skin. skin. Jay How Jay-Z ain't light skin? He yellow. Charlemagne light skin now. Charlemagne light skin now. Oh, y'all can have Sammy Sosa too. Y'all can take Sammy Sosa. Y'all can have Sammy Sosa. I mean, he's not a role. Drake, Drake. I mean, even though I'm not great with Drake, but he run the... Yo, well, every last game. You gotta take Drake because okay. no way you can well, he's the biggest family. rapper, Jay Z, uh, the biggest icon. Oh, no, the whole guy likes him. Yes, he is. Not like he's not What is he then? He's not born alive. Oh, he's darker than Beyonce. Well, Beyonce likes him. Yeah, that's a light Wait, you can't, you can't be two of you, darker. Yeah. Huh? Hey, yo. Jay -Z, what's that Chappelle joint? Like no, he's not. Yes, no, he's not. He's not. He's not. No, he's not. Hey yo, we about to have a light skin draft. That's that Willie Lynch stuff. Anyways, I'm about to drop truth to power right now. Cameron one on one, holla at me. All right, there's a thing going on back in the day, man. Man named Willie Lynch, right? Back in the slavery times, he held seminars to slave owners, telling you how to control slaves. That's why you pit the the dark skin. 
black people against the light skinned black people. That's why they fighting the rat race, seeing who's better, who's more superior. The dark skin or the light skins? Dark skin. Dark skin. Dark skin. Com. Yo. Oh yeah. I'm just saying, man. Hey, Obama. Obama was the first hey, black president. Listen. He light skinned them. Will you make? Hey, Obama, hey, yo. Obama's listen to me. Tonight. Okay. Will you no. make a turkey? Black and white. Man. Will you make a turkey? What's the first part you want to eat? You want to eat that the light dark, skin? That dark meat, kid. You want to go right to the dark, dark kid? Hey, yo. Dark yo. Meat yeah, first of all, we're gonna pause this whole segment. I don't yeah. know how we got. Yeah, I don't know how we went to dark meat. Yeah. All the way from Harden having a turkey. Harden. Dark meat turkey. Yo, James Harden. Dark meat turkey. Listen, what's the first piece? <laughs> What's going on here? You want to eat the light meat, Dude. and he was proud of that. Y'all got to stay focused, man. This man, is crazy. Oh, this yeah. is going yeah. downhill. Um, the ratings are dropping. Box, yo, yeah. yeah. You're the penalty box. Drop it like L came back on some. LL Cool J did some LL Cool J right there. This was <laughs> first, what's the first meat? Hey, yo, yo. we're gonna edit that out, man. We nah, man. Good. I mean, it's live on the radio. Y'all be feeling like we live on the radio too. Y'all do know that, right? Like, it's forget just not that. the internet. I forget All right. that. Yeah. Hey, yo, but it's easy to forget on the radio. They so, James Harden, 60 point triple double, is absolutely impressive, but I think it sheds more light on the terrible defense. That the magic play. 81 points is ridiculous by one player. Like they only won point. by like 10. But wait, so and it was if, if, if the 60 if the 60 point triple double sheds light on poor defense, what is an 81 point game? Do? I'm just saying, like 81 point game is more yeah, impressive the hot streak as an offensive feat. You know what I'm saying? Somebody but, gave up 81 points. Six, what uh, means 60? Uh, 60 points. It was a bunch double? of dudes making millions of dollars no, gave up no, 81 no. points. Jason Kidd used floor. to get nine rebounds a game just and they from were, they was getting out in transition and getting long rebounds. That would make them feel worse. Hey, yo, that's what was not what it used to yo, be. Yeah, I'm with you on that because, yo, people like the big man to get out their way for, for the star, they actually pad their stack and get their rebounds. That happened all the time with OKC. What yo, Russell be still in um, rebound from players. He man. really did. He did it yeah. to him. Russell did to, um, be in the locker room threatening dudes. No, that's because he just, he just jumped so quick. Yeah, he does jump. Yo, they see Russell like, oh, go ahead and get it. You yeah. gotta get your triple double. Listen, okay, but because if you go in the locker room, Russell didn't get his triple double, you fired. You are Look, fired. All I'm saying is, if he has 20 fired. triple doubles through 35 games, yeah, let right. him rock. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta but, give him his rebounds. But, but every single one, he earned them. Yeah. He earned that. Playing, yeah. playing out there with nobody. Yo, he getting seven, eight time? triple doubles in a row. You know how much energy that takes. Hey, yo, but to be on that team where you have 81 points and you look up and you only had three, like, yeah, come yeah. on, man. Like, yo, Smith Park, where you man. at? Yo, what the finals? 114 to 107? Yo, give me, yeah. give me a Oh, no, no, I'm talking about, about the um, Laker game. I'm talking about the... Um, Oh, last night. Yeah, how mad no, you would be right, if your play, you're the player, the player on your team has 81. Down to the wire. Huh? Right. The player on your team has 81. You look up, you have two points. I'm upset. I'm upset. I don't know. If it's so if you got two points like and you're probably, you. probably on a on a, on a ten day contract. Yeah. Yo, you probably average yeah. two. So, like, like, yes. That's the norm. Hey. So it's like, alright, yeah. yeah, cool. <laughs> not not for nothing. There's a lot of dudes that play pickup ball with me, man. I only got like two shots. <laughs> There's a lot of dudes that played high school. Leo pulled up half ball. Ball. Uh, <laughs> Summer League ball, <laughs> high school ball, yeah. pro am yeah. ball. Hey, yo, Mr. Every time I was on a <laughs> team with Mike, he never let me shoot. <laughs> I mean, it felt like Mike automatic like turnover. Yo. Like, yo, it felt like <laughs> turnover. <laughs> no, yo. Hey, yo, I don't, this segment yo. is not yo. good for me. Yo. I didn't have a good segment. <laughs> I feel like you need to come back strong yeah. next segment. You already Let's go to the video. Yourself, hey, you're talking about WWE. That's your yeah. job, that's yeah. right? WWE? I, I feel like I you're have to have a strong segment next one. You're the talking about Ronda Rousey. Oh, Ronda Rousey. Oh, yo, we're going to talk about that, too. No doubt. All right, I'll put it on you right now. Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. What up? Ronda Rousey. I don't know how to spell that. This was such a bad segment for LL Cool Ray. R-O-U-S-E-Y. Hey, yo, let's play I'm So Sorry by LL Cool Ray featuring Usher. stupid, I'm feeling like I ain't took a nap in weeks. weeks. I'm up, couple thousand tuck, writing back the G. In the I'm stuck, diamonds in the cut, make an actress speak. Hey, Sports, drugs, and entertainment, think I'm Master P. Oh. Hey, what up? It's 929 WDUP, Millennials, on my town, hip hop and RB. These guys like don't know. He put out like a god. That was smooth criminal. That's what I do. That's why I'm the host. They know. You know what I'm saying? Yo. This is the You leave that mic alone. My bad, my bad, brother. Yeah, Leo's still on the 10-day contract calling shots right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Leo, you ain't finished your fourth show yet. Like, it's my fourth one right now. That was your third, man. Oh, my god. I've had three weeks. Yeah, yeah you're third. Third. Still third. 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 Yo, man. Yeah, man, you're still in the probation period right Listen, now. Listen, I might not be able to make it in fourth because uh, <laughs> wifey ain't trying to hear me out here every Wednesday night with y'all, man. Yo, Listen, especially if you say what I'm saying. At least she knows where you are. 
Yeah. 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 Y
Cut his mic, man. Cut his mic, bro. 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 Your mic is cut. I'm gonna mic the mic. Yo. Now I got another eight minutes. Mic is cut. I'm over here now. Now I got another eight minutes. No, I think, I think, I think, I think no, no. All right, let's just let me end it like this. Please do. Ass too. Now I don't know what to say. I'm gonna think about. Well, you just said let me end it like this. I thought you was done. Well, you ruined my concentration. Oh my. You know I have ADD. So listen, it's gonna be good for her. Yeah. Wow. That's all that was. That was wow. great. For that money, was, for confidence. That was, that was money, that was great. confidence, that was great. and I'm going to watch it now. <laughs> <laughs> that you, but yo, you yo, know yo. what? That was look Hold up. Let me ask lie. you this. Why don't you like wrestling? Like, what's I love wrestling. I've been wrestling fake. since. since. Uh, the movies are fake. You still watch it? But it's supposed to be a professional sports. No. No, 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 no. Wrestling is sports. It is predetermined. They still do whatever they do. It's sports ballet. It's a whole bunch of people drive up each other and jump over top. Like, yo, I watched an old clip on Instagram the other day with Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior. Hulk Hogan come up, start slapping his chest. Ultimate Warrior starts slapping his chest. Then he starts throwing each other off the ropes. Like, why can't you just stop? Why you throw smile at the rope and then you gotta run to the other side and then run to the other side? Why can't you just stop me in track? Oh, you got a trampoline. my point. It's just bull. It's we got boy kind of WWE. All right, when you got a trampoline, you don't just jump and just stop. When you hit the ropes, you go you bounce back and that's wow. it. It's right. a rope. I don't know, but it sounded right. good <laughs> in my head. What are you talking about? It's all about the momentum. Hey, yo, the momentum. Hey, yo, Raymond saying saying some possible stuff. Me talking about bounce back and meet. Kevin Love needs some love because he hurt. So when we come back from this break, yeah. um, another awful we're gonna, we're gonna say goodbye, about, Ray. We're gonna talk about <laughs> Kevin Love. Break already? But right now, hey, yo, we're, gonna play go that. To, we're gonna go to uh, the Wind Dubs play the, remix. Play the rock featuring Jay Z. <laughs> we're gonna go to, it doesn't matter. I'm feeling like I ain't took a nap in weeks. weeks I'm up, couple thousand tuck, writing back the G the I'm stuck, diamonds in the cut, make an actress see hey, Sports, drugs, and entertainment, think I'm Master P uh, What up, like, it's 929 WDUP, attention please It wasn't black and white, it was VHS Hey yo, we gonna have to install like an intercom system up in here To let everybody know when we about to go on air, damn it You know I what I mean? I heard it every time That's like 20, like 10 seconds Cause you don't want to count down, don't count down You can say damn it, you can say damn it on it. Yeah, like a flash 20 yeah, I know, yeah, right? We gotta do that. Yeah, BOG, what we talking about, man? Um, it says Giants here, but I don't know why it says Yeah, we talking about, we I want, I want Ray's take. Yes. We're both huge New York Listen, Giants fans. Ray is I got a over question. Two. Ray, Can stop? He's at the floor and it's going bad. Can we say Every who? time. That's true, right? Huh. I mean, the last no, if, if he can't do the Giants talk, then, like, he's oh. the same man. But he's about to get dropped down in G League, man. Wait a minute. That's I'm a pretty good at what I'm saying and stuff. You might as well go watch the game, right? Um, um, can you your chair? What was the high school take? The high school oh, the high school table. Yeah, oh, so oh, you high know that we can wait on that. Yes, the high school table. We'll do that. We'll, we'll get back to the Giants talk yeah. later. Let's talk about the high school uh, landscape right now. The ECC Eli look like it's wide open. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Waterford look like a favorite. Then one minute, you know what I mean? Legend look like a favorite. Then New London. And we gonna let Mr. Pichetto take over. You know what I mean? Little Mikey out here busting ass. I mean, whoa, whoa. You say ass. You cannot say. You can say ass. FCC, call me. Let me know if you can say that word. I just came from the New London game by the way. East Lime beat New London. They did. East Lime beat New London. At East Lime tonight. By a lot. Tonight, six or eight. Okay, something like that. I gotta pick up my cousin Justice Ferry by the way. So, oh, Justice, he can play. Yeah. So. It's really good for basketball, uh, what the day is doing. So the day.com is televising games, which is drawing interest. Yeah. So the kids are up in their game. You know, to be on TV, you know, they're hustling. So that has been a big thing. Second thing is, they don't want to lose in front of all them people. So they're, they're dying out there. They're trying, yeah. Yeah. you know, playing real hard. And they can't wait to play, like in the ECC tournament. So yeah. it's good, number one, for basketball. Mm -hmm. London, East Lime, Waterford, um, Ledger. And I would say those are the top four. Shut up. Maybe Dave NFA. Boys. Yeah, yeah. NFA I, too. I can't even think of a time where it's like wide open. Like, you know, normally each year it's like maybe two favorites. Maybe a third team might sneak in and could actually yeah. shake things up. But that's been it. But it's like. Games it's, are close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Games are close. Yeah. So all the kids are playing hard. And I think the ECC tournament is going to be great. Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be, be great. Yeah. So, that, I mean, as far as who's the best, you know what? I mean, if you go by position. I think, you know, Mikey as a point guard, I take Dev as a two guard, and then from there, that's the discussion, really. Because yeah. those two are the top those two. Those two are the top two players. You can put the, the kid from Legend, the Hutchins kid, he, he's a he's six five, so he probably is the best big man in the league. Yeah. But I gotta tell you, and Elijah didn't play tonight. I have no idea why. He didn't he play didn't a minute. Play? Well not one minute. Really? And what I seen him yeah. do, and I know Elijah, 
He's the strongest kid out there. I don't know what happened. Well, Parker, you throw him right in the could, If somebody could, um, he probably missed practice or he, something. He happened. might have, but Parker he, right in the they missed him. So if there was a big man who I just said, all right, go every time Mikey and Dev miss, mm -hmm. Elijah, go get it. I don't think anybody can out jump that kid. No, uh, go no. get it. Just Listen, go climb that, the, the ladder. The, the game he played against Waterford was amazing. He got this up. kid. Every shot that went up, he had a chance to get the rebound. Yeah. Whether he tipped it, whether he corralled it and was able to get almost it out. Almost like a Tristan Thompson. Just, just almost like a Tristan Thompson, but Thompson. undersized. Yeah. So undersized, right. scrap my right. bill, scrap all, all Killing Lee, scrap Woodstock, um, scrap Stonington, scrap uh, Bacon Academy. Bacon as far as players on the teams. Yeah. I think it's going to come down. I haven't seen NFA. NFA's not bad. But but as well, far as our, the best five. Yeah. But I will say this. I'll take Mikey and Dev in the backcourt against anybody in the state. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Like, let's go to no New doubt. Haven. Let's go to Bridgeport. Let's go to New York. Those kids can play against yeah. anybody. Hey, yo, there's no question about your son's ability. Like, how, how tall is your son? So, listen, I want to clear the air about this right now because I heard. I, I, think I, made, five, I think I made a joke about being short. He is. I think I'm, he I is. Five, eight and a half mm. with, with no sneakers. Okay. Right, so I okay. want to tell you what I did in the recruiting. So yeah. Mikey got a full ride. Yeah. So I told him, you wear Timberlands. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. So Wait. to all the kids, listen, you wear Timberlands when you go meet a coach. That's smart. Because you're up about an inch and a half. Yeah. And you grow your hair longer. Yeah. So, so they're looking at him like, oh, this dude's like 5'10". Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. what they started putting him in the guy. But he's really five, eight and a half. Man. And that's it. And then after that, Shout five, out nine. Hey. Yeah, and sneakers. Yeah, really. Yeah. Nah, because I think I was one. I mean, it was probably towards the end of the show where we forget what we talking about because we going. Yeah. But I just know, like, you know what I mean? I made a joke. I, I ain't question his ability. I was just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, okay. it's just like, you know what I mean? But look at Isaiah Thomas. See, I mean, Isaiah Thomas ain't playing good now, but, you yeah. know, nah. at 5859, he's still so, able to do his thing. You know what I mean? So here's some statistics, yeah. okay? Um, This year yeah. in Division Two, 1,000 scholarships were given out yeah. across the world. Right. And he's one of them. Yeah, yeah. Wow. One, hey, hey, one thousand you know? Southern New Hampshire University. Okay, yeah. So Southern New Hampshire University plays with uh, Bentley, Assumption, uh, University of New Haven, Bridgeport, I a lot of friends Adelphi. Yeah, yeah. So it's a it's a Hampshire. strong conference. Right. So mm -hmm. they're, so they're, they're playing against a Sawyer kid. Who? No, Sawyer's Division Three. He's at Brandeis. Oh, Brandeis. Oh, Brandeis. Oh, Brandeis. I already doing well too. I saw like uh, yeah. I ain't reading. So Brandeis. To keep this in perspective, at Division One level, only a thousand kids got a scholarship. So now you're talking about Miami. Mm -hmm. Chicago, Los Angeles, New York City, and then you got this little kid who's from New London but lives in Waterford. Yeah, mm -hmm. I coach against. And, and you know what? That's a testament to the area. Yeah. yeah. It, oh, speaking of which, to the area and like no, but directly. Gino actually lives in the house behind your old house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looked like a uh, yeah, I see huge house. Oh, on, on Ocean Avenue. Yeah. Okay, well, he's behind. My, he's the one on. Yeah, yeah. He's the that's one my on dad's the, house. Oh, your wow. dad lives in there? On Pequot? Where you live on Ocean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Greyhound. You have that driveway in between that connects. That cuts all the way up to Ocean to Pequot. Ocean Avenue. So big, yeah, that's my father's house. Oh, oh yeah. Tell your dad, my bad. Yeah. I drove you know, straight you know what I liked about Mikey? Ended up on the lawn. He knows he knows that he he's like he's a good player. But he listens to criticism or something yeah. to make him better. Well, he's he had no choice, of, as you know. I was had, not the most listen, silent father. Uh, he's not, he's not, not one of those that, because I, I had some kids, I had some kids that we bring on our all-star team, and yeah. you have them, and they, I already know what I'm supposed to do. And you yeah. tell them, and it's kind of a nonchalant attitude. He stops, he looks at you, he listens, and then he applies it. And that's one of the things I liked about Mikey, that no matter yeah. how how much praise he got from this, this, and this, he'll listen because, all right, it's only going to make me better. And, I and he finds the coach. I mean, you coach, how long you coach at St. Bernard's? I coach, I had kids, so I coached there for six years. Yeah, but the biggest thing was who I've been around, and, and you know, when we we grew up, we didn't have AAU. No, my son and any kid's son, all the kids, mm -hmm. to have the, that Foxwoods League, to have any AAU tournament is great. Yeah. Real refs. We had Toby May. I gotta tell you, I remember this kid. <laughs> you guys know his name, D. John Strong. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, right? right? Yeah. So D. John's up to Toby right. May. This is how we settle fouls. <laughs> so he's yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh dear. So we're playing, no reps, foul. It's, you know, game point, because that's yeah. all when all the fouls come out. <laughs> yeah, Seven, six, foul. Yeah. Someone contested them. DJ went to his, um, he went to his car and got a little instrument. <laughs> foul. <laughs> Seven, six, game over. Yeah, and so, game like, over. The, yeah, but the kids today don't realize that they have the coaches they have and, like, the AAU and the refs and travel into all and play the best kids. We had to go New Haven. We thought that was going to Chicago. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. Leo, Leo had a suit on. 
I'll be booked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yo, yeah, it's soon tied. But I averaged 28 a game. And I have the clippings. And I, I sent them to 28. Yeah. And I, I sent them to you. I averaged 28 a game. And his field goal percentage was like 12. Hey, the only problem with Leo. The only problem with Leo's 28 was that his man averaged 48. Because Leo was standing at half court like I'm open. So Matt and Leo and everybody in this room, the, the good thing about Mikey is he makes everyone better. Yeah. Yeah. So when you look at players like, okay, do you make yourself better or do you make other? He is a pass first guard. So he really don't want to like score, but yeah. he has to at the school that he's at. Yeah, yeah. But if he played, when he goes to college, that's what they said about him. You know, you get the ball, your head's up. Yeah, his passing. His passing is the passing yeah, is yeah, yeah. So when you're running with boys that can play, yeah, yeah. he's going to be like, he would be throwing alley oops to Matt. Imagine if he played with Matt in high school. Seriously. I mean, well, he doesn't somebody, have he doesn't he'd have the really players old, like, yeah, really somebody young. with his athleticism or athleticism and just yeah. running up and down. So, yeah. but in that ECC conference, you know, the game has it, it's gotten better, and it's good because they're beating teams out of this outside this uh, conference. I think they're like twenty and three mm -hmm. outside yeah. of playing each other. So Which that's huge good. because the last few years it hasn't been like that. Right? It's right. just been Ledger Beat beating everybody. teams yeah. outside yeah. Of the, outside the area. So for other teams to be doing that. And here's the other thing, 2,000 people at a game. Wow. 2,000. It hasn't been like that since 88, 89. And the, yeah. the, the New London East Slime game today, I was there, great crowd. They probably had, you know, 1,200 people there mm -hmm. because it's pumped up. Hey, yo, how much, yo, G, how, how many um, people we had at the game when we played Lincoln? 12. Mm -hmm. 12. Uh, 7? They said it was over 2,000 people. It was, that game was crazy. Yeah, I was, was, was both that game up. No, I was um, in London. There was people lining up on yeah, the baseline. Yeah. Like, I couldn't even take Again, the ball out of bounds. We, we played Lincoln. 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 We had that every game. Lincoln on from Brooklyn. Oh. Yeah. 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 We, had that, we had that every game in 88, 89. Oh, uh, I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, game. actually, they did because um, New London's seating capacity is well under 2,000. Listen, how many people fight? Like oh, you know what? I want to say this on the air. A, 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 Cameron 1 of 1 on your boy. Yo, if you go to New London High School, right? They redid the football field. They got the, you know, the turf and they redid the stands and everything like that. They got the boulder, the Flintstone bleachers, whatever you want to call it. If you look at the high school basketball gym, there's a lot of space to the right of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, there's like just a just a grassy knoll. I don't know what dead, you want to call it. That space. They need to knock that down and open it up with, I mean, Waterford, one thing about Waterford gym, they got seats around the whole court. They got right? a student section by itself. Yeah. Yes. Behind the baskets. That's behind the, the yeah. baskets. That's what the London yeah. doesn't have, behind the baskets. Behind the baskets. Well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. They need to read. I mean, we put a whole new school in there. That probably, like, that probably cost the city how much? I mean, who knows? But the thing is, they need to knock down that gym and recreate a new gym in there, build something that can at least have some bleachers behind the baskets, man. Well, when we get a mayor, <laughs> what were they supposed to? That's what was, uh, they supposed to knock down that whole Sports minded. From what they say, yeah. Mike probably didn't heard about this. Yeah, it's yeah. supposed to become a, a, campus. a campus. Oh yeah, you're gonna yeah, have the right, campus yeah. and, then, and then north, and then south. The, other, the other part's gonna be yeah. over by Benny Dover. Mm -hmm. So what they were talking about is you basically have three three high schools in London. Damn. You have the Magnus School, then you have the one campus over here, another campus over here, okay, east and, west and because north, none of because north. none of the the classes merge, or you can't go to this school to this school. You have three different basketball teams. That's also. terrible. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't terrible. like that. I don't like that. No, so no I heard that they are going to merge, though. And that they, you they, are going to be trying to find, play. Like they're no, no, no. They're trying to find a way now how they can get them kids from Benny Dover over to the high school when they do the new school. If they can't find a way to do that, they become separate schools. That's terrible. You I don't like mean? that. Because and that, we're small enough anyway. You, like you gonna have that's gonna two, three different teams? The, yeah. the, the Whaler legacy. Right. That, that's gonna ruin it. Because I now everything I is gonna be watered down. Let's talk about that legacy, because it's there. So like, when you talk about sports and, and, and you know, who comes out of where, New London, you know, by far, just talking about basketball, you know, when, and, and Waterford, they have like 9, 10, uh, 11, 12, and New London Rec, it's nine through 12. Yeah, mm -hmm. which helps a kid grow up fast. We had that discussion last and episode. I, don't know, but yeah. I, I agree see with that. that. I, I, I mean, when support. you start saying, okay, nine versus ten, then you get in high school, what are you supposed to do? Wait till you're a senior? And then, okay, now I'm evenly matched. Right. You come in as a sophomore or a freshman and you start playing right away because, you know, you. So I think that that has to be looked at. If you're, you're already playing. Humble brag, I started as a freshman. From, from, nine, from nine to twelve, yeah. you're already playing. By the way, you're, 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 you go to high school, brag. you're already you're playing prepared. the same thing. And it's okay to get beat up. Like, yeah. another thing, just what I've done with my son, is I took him down to Mitchell College. And I would tell a kid, yo, beat my son up. 
and the college kids looking at he's probably 23. Well, if you go to Mitchell, he's probably like 28. <laughs> but so, I'm like, yo, beat my son up. They're like, all right. So I go, Mikey, one on one. Because, you know, yeah. go ahead, beat him up. So that was another thing that got Mikey better. He yeah. started getting a little angry because these older kids are beating him in the head. Now, I wasn't the parent like, yo, it's a foul. I do no. that now. Well, yeah. uh, let me ask you this because I always had this discussion with a lot of people. It was like, how you your kid yep. and trying to make him tough, but still, st you know what I mean? Yeah. In return and still confidence in him because like basketball is a game of confidence. Big. Sure. So it's like, all right, you want him to go out there and get his head beat in, yep. us, but also you want to be able to have an opportunity to actually build a confidence and right. build up on it too. So the same thing is this: when after you beat up, get beat up, then you go down to your level of kids, and it's like it's like playing your sister or your mom. Yeah. Like you 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 gonna yeah. wax them? No, yeah, yeah. because you go from Mitchell College playing a kid, and then you got some kid in the ECC trying to check you. It's over. Cause that the kid in college is a man. They're stronger. Yeah. They're quicker. They're faster. They're they're playing college basketball. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not taking a kid from a dorm who don't play hoop. Mm -hmm. I'm taking a basketball player, Division three, high level, getting in Mikey shorts. Yeah. And so then Mike gets on the court. You know, he could average 30, 35 points if he wanted to yeah. in the ECC, but he passes. But here's the problem: parents and kids nowadays don't want to take that challenge. Everybody wants something given to them. Everybody wants a participation trophy. That's why everybody, everybody wants it. equal playing time. Yeah. Oh, that kid hasn't played enough yet. You got to get him in the game. Yeah. That's garbage. Listen, if you ain't playing enough, then you're not working. I'll work on your game. So I, exactly. I come from a different mentality. You know, my father, people think like I'm a hedge fund guy or something, but my father, I grew up on Bank Street. He had Michael Zarco, Michael Stone. So he's a tow truck guy. And so that was blue collar. Then my family owned Michael's Dairy, blue collar. It, it wasn't. So we worked. So my son, he could have just stopped playing and as a sophomore and said, yo, I'm cool, I'm good. He just kept getting better and stronger and better. And he could shoot it better now because, you know, he took 500 shots a day. So here's what I did, Mike. AAU as a parent, mm -hmm. I said, all right, Mikey, you go to Massachusetts, right? You play a game at, let's say, 1 o'clock. He might take 15 shots in that game. Then we play a game at 5. All right, it takes 15, so that's 30 shots. Then we sleep over and play the next game, one game, or two if you lose, and let's say another, 30. He took 60 shots all weekend. I pulled him away from it, coach. I said, Mikey, look, let's shoot 300 at Mitchell. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, he shot 1,000 shots, 900 shots instead of 60. And that's what got Mikey better. I pulled him away from the AU, and I played, we played like six tournaments this year. And he played in New York, he made the New York Lightning team. Mm -hmm. But I was driving to Queens, I was driving to you know St. John's University, Long Island. Wow and playing against some big boys, I'll show you a picture. Yeah. But at the same time, he can put the work in here. So mm -hmm. all the kids, they don't need to look at the coaches. Yo, you're good, you're playing. Mm -hmm. I don't know any so, coach, you know. All right, so let me ask you this, to transition a little bit. Yeah. LeVar Ball, not to go into that. Yeah. What he did with his kids, took him out of high school, and had him go into playing against grown men at his age. Yeah. Do you think that's one of the things that is gonna make LaMelo better Absolutely. than he, what he is than him just going to high school and then being an All-American and all that other stuff? I mean, LaMelo, before you go, LaMelo just had like a 41-point triple-double or something like that. He that was against, But that was against junior, a junior team, so he's playing okay. against high school players. But at the end of the day, it's the experience. So we yeah. could have left, Mikey could have left, and, and the kid Dev from East Lime could leave this year and reclass, they call it. Yeah. You can become a junior again. So we're going to go to prep route? The prep route. Yeah. So yeah. we decided not to, right. and this goes to your point of you know the experience. Right. So I told Mikey, listen, Enjoy your boys. You went to school with them for four years. Play in front of a couple thousand. Mm -hmm. You know, come out of Waterford as being the best basketball player in the history of Waterford, which can't be debated. And we no. can, but it's, yo, yo, it's yo, not. before you go on, not, and I'm not saying you're wrong. But yeah, what happened to that Chinese kid, man? It, Sam Chung? Sam Chung. Already? What he was a great goal before that? Like Sam, what, Sam, Sam Chung is a is great it? guy. He's yeah. he's gonna be the head coach of Avery Point. Yeah. Oh wow, really? He took James Child's spot. Yeah. Okay, he's he's there now. But next he's year he's coaching Wade, right? Good. Nah, that's the last like great player. So I want to talk about Sam year. how class yeah. act. Yeah. Mikey yeah. broke his assist record okay. um about ten games ago and yeah. Sam came to the game. And and that was a great, you know, great thing because Sam also worked out with Mikey during the summer. Mm -hmm. I had him work out with Coach Bono at the Coast Guard. Yeah. I had him work out with um, top reps at Mitchell College. But to your point, Mike, that balance, mm -hmm. sometimes they need to hear from other people. Yeah. So even even this guy and these guys, you know, they hit Mike. Yo, cuz, yo, you better play hard. Cuz, yo, you better get in it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm free. They can call him anytime they want. He, you know, there's some people I tell them, don't listen to that dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? But <laughs> if Matt calls or Leo or Coach or, you know, anybody that yeah. knows him, Yo, Mike, let's go. Mm -hmm. then, then he's got to listen to him. So that balance of like the experience, Mikey, what do you want? Yeah. Well, I want this and that. Okay, well, if you want to get there, 
So the, the thing is the trust. So the kids, if they trust their dad, you know, like, that's who they're going with. Right. So the, the kids right. don't know anything different. Right. They're trusting the pops and the route that he's putting and, them in mm -hmm. and that pathway. So they got to go with it. Otherwise, right. they can right. listen to a guy at UCLA like, yo, come here. And then they sit him on the bench for two years and they're like, yo, what? what I agree. I agree with you. Because that happens with like you. with Lelo at, at yeah. um. <laughs> In New London, London. Yeah. I like his game too, man. I like Lelo. Wait, I love, I love, first of all, I love Louis yeah. and I love Lelo. Now, all them kids have stayed in my house. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what? Lelo can shoot. Yeah, I like him. He can game. flat out shoot. He shouldn't come out of the game. Listen, but now Lelo, he's a senior Lelo and he's just shoot, playing. But he can attack the basket. Yeah. yeah. He's doing that a lot more than he used to, though. But, but no, he's doing it because I guess he's. I feel like because like my blood, just the spirit, just the spirit, just the spirit. Just my boy. Hey, is, he, is Justice listening? I don't know. He might be. Yeah, I don't know. I ain't talked to him today. So yeah, we don't, don't play Fitch this year, but yeah. he's one of Now they having a rough year because he's he having. In London, um, what, Friday, right? Fitch is having a rough time. Fitch, yeah, yeah. Fitch, yeah. Fitch, yeah. Fitch, yeah. Fitch, yeah. Because he's having a rough year. He don't have much of He got a lot of young guys, and like he's the. Coach is terrible. Coach is buns. He had a great football year, too. Yeah. So he's yeah. got to hang his hat on something, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what you're going to do for school next year, but, I mean, he had a great year. It was his first time playing um, high school football so, since. Right. Justice, I'm going to tell you right now, and tell Mary, and, and tell you that father of yours, my buddy, uh, Greg. Step father. Uh, step whatever. Yeah. Acting Sorry. father. Yeah. Come on, man. Jeez. That's my son. You better. Yo, Cam, stop calling me. Yeah. Bro. So go to a school. That you're gonna feel comfortable at yeah, if you break your leg yeah. or you hurt your arm. Go there the for something day. like besides basketball. Just so if, if basketball ends someday, yeah, so you fall in love, yeah. you get hurt, at least you're still in a good surrounding. Yeah. So, that's my it. advice. I got it. So, yo, so yo, I think the segment went long enough. Uh, let's get into some music. Matt, what we playing? What we, what we getting into, Matt? We playing, um. Is that my buddy Shannon? We playing. Uh, Can she hear uh, 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 Yeah. Uh, hey, buddy. Uh, Ray Bonanno featuring uh, oh, Ghostface that. Killer. Oh, called. Called uh, Sex Dolls Anonymous. <laughs> What's up, coach? <laughs> I'm feeling like I ain't took a nap in weeks. weeks. I'm up, couple thousand tuck, writing back the G. The I'm stuck, diamonds in the cut, make an actress see. Hey, Sports, drugs, and entertainment think I'm Master P. Uh. Hey, what up? It's 929 WDUP, it's SDE water. Podcast. Yo. Hey yo, and I'm gonna I'm introduce the next segment. We gonna we gonna move to entertainment. Yo, the Migos, right? <laughs> they say they're the best hip hop group ever. And I don't even have to ask you guys. We all know that's BS. But have they been the most influential that everybody rapping? And that and that, and that, no. and that mumble no. rap ish. Like no. yo, everybody rap like them now. Are they no. the most influential? No. I'm not saying the best. No. I'm not saying no. they're great. No. I'm talking no. about everybody no. rap like the Migos. No. They even no. bite they no. um. They say skirt, skirt, you know that? No. The me. most influential group is N.W.A. Eagles. There's nothing, there's no the other group that was group more influential than N.W.A. John, I think I know that's you know. number I know one. You Just because of that whole, that answer. whole police brutality thing and the way they went with it. About it's just. Yo, no, but we talking about we talking about sonically right now. We talking sonically, about even talking sonically, about, even nobody sonically. rap like Eazy-E no more. But I'm just saying, in that era, they just brought something in that. But everybody rap like Migos now. Everybody. How long the Migos been out? When Versace come out? That happened like a decade ago. No, not that long. Versace, Versace, Versace. 10 years? 10 years? I'm pulling up. Pull it up, man. Pull Camera on the one. one. This is what we do at 9 to now. We pull up, we pull up the stats. Hey, we don't, we don't speculate. Y'all can talk while I pull up the stats. Yeah, yeah, I Versace came out like 10 years ago. I think yeah. there's, a general, so there's, a lack, yeah. there's a general lack of creativity. What about Jackson 5? That's the most important. No, we talking about rap. We talking about rap. We talking about rap. They came out 2013. Oh, October 1st, 2013. You said Not even, that was four and a half. Half a decade. Shoot. That's four and a half years. No, bro, it's four years. <laughs> but my point is, everybody's saying Skirt Skirt on the record, and everybody rapping. They, okay. Everybody rap like the Migos so now. General lack of creativity. Listen, right now. they have That's my no point. talent. Are they the, I'm not, like, yo, I don't, I'm not a fan of the Migos, Just but lazy. I'm objective. And my thing is, everybody rap like that. I'm objective too, and I object to that comment. They're like, yay, yay. Skirt Skirt. And then they rap. I got a question. Yeah. What? Who would you pay to see? What group? If you had one group in the group? past decade, one group, one group, no matter. Or actually, if they had to come back, yeah, yeah. Right, all right, it's one group. Let's go twenty years. Let's go twenty years. Let's go twenty years. Twenty years. I mean, me personally, the yeah. locks. Oh, kids, styles, the locks, the locks. The locks. locks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Me personally, uh, I would go Mob Deep. Yeah, I'm with that. Mob Deep. You, you with us? No, sir. 
Foundation, baby. I'm with you, Foundation. Yo, yo, oh, yo, big up, no nicknames. He just checked in. He said, "What's good?" N words. And yo, nobody listen to Migos, homie. I agree, but everybody rap like Migos. But all right, what you say? Um, Jackson Five. Listen, so rap. I know, but they rhymed a little bit. What's the difference between rap and rhyming? Hey, uh, you know no, what? No, 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 you know what? No, one of them rap. Yo, Leo's out of luck. Which one? Well, Ronnie, Ronnie was the rapper, right? So that, I guess it counted. That's that's fair. Ronnie, yeah. I would say the most influential ever. And Michael Jackson, you look at Justin Timberlake, he copies everything that he's done. Everybody copies. Everybody copies oh, yeah. Michael. Who, who copies NWA? True. Um, Yo, don't, don't Bruno Martin Mars look like Michael Jackson, like the, the look Michael Jackson was going for is Bruno Mars. <laughs> yeah, like, if you look at Bruno Mars, that's what Michael Jackson was going for. Yeah. That's kind of off topic. I ain't want to talk about no damn Bruno Mars. I, 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 think, I think I would, if I had to pay to see somebody, I think it would be either The Firm, I would like to see The Firm, or, or Fuji's. I like Fuji's. That's Yo. just me. Oh yeah, his favorite rapper is Proswell, by the way. <laughs> oh. Fun fact. Alright, because Matt really is kind of going right now, so no, I, no, no. I mean, you dropped everything, but I'm saying I, I that dropped you, my phone one time. You dropped your phone, your pennies, and your coke. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, all of them. Hey, we're talking about Coca Cola. Yeah. Yo, no Cola. nickname said Mob all day. Surprise, surprise. So I have to say, I'm just gonna jump in because I've, I've seen this show and everybody just kind of out of turn. But the yeah. musical yeah. genius that cannot be duplicated is Stevie Wonder. True, true. So when you go to sing karaoke, Mike. Because I, I sense that you go to the bowl now, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> hey. I'm going to ask you, who tries to mimic Stevie Wonder? No one's up there going, yo, I'll sing Stevie. You can't can't copy his voice. Hey, hey, but Mike, man, you're taking us off track. We're talking about rap, though. We're not talking about... Um, yeah, no, I'm just trying to get some... Oh, Ripper's in the Sky right now. Ripper's in the Sky is a great song. Purple Rain. Isn't she love Prince by his daughter? Yeah, it, yeah, I, yeah, so yeah, I went, great song. I went to see Stevie Wonder in Brooklyn. At the Barclays Center. Hey, yo, how was his hairline? Cause he, his hairline start back yeah, here he, and the dreads he, go back. He is funny. You know, yeah. he's great. He is a music. He's blind. Jamming on the one. Blind. Jamming on the one. one. Okay. Yeah, y'all yeah, know about that Cosby show. You know, Little Richard. He, he's you know, Little Richard yeah. still comes out here to go to um, the Seventh Day Adventist Church out here in Linden Street. Little yeah. Richard. Yeah. That's great. Can we talk about? Um, <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How you know this? Cause my my uh, my dad and my mom go to that church. They Seventh Day Adventists. Yo, yo, where did Little Richard touch you? That's when it. That's act like this is the body. <laughs> I'm going to the public. Bro. Apparently, that's the nickname. That's why he left. That's a nickname for his little friend, yes. Little Richard. Yeah. Yo, yes. I think Little Richard might be Little Richard. His own little Richard. Change the name to Sweet Baby Ray. Yeah, call us uh, Cat Daddy. Sweet Baby Richard, Cat, Cat Daddy. Daddy. Yo, Cat Daddy. Cat Daddy. What, yo, I, I got, where that come from? So Lil Richard be in New London. Yeah. Yeah. No, he little, he go to New London. He go over there too. <laughs> hey, yo. Care one and one. Matter of fact, Facebook Live, the listeners that's listening to their call. Yes. If you see Lil Richard in New London, please snap a photo and address it to 929. A free dinner for two. A free dinner for two millimeters. If you find Lil Richard tonight, if you find Lil Richard somewhere. If you find Lil Richard in New London, you get a free dinner for millimeters. I'm gonna give no wait. Wait, I'm gonna give five hundred dollars to somebody who goes and wakes Lil Richard up right now. Since you got all this inside information about Lil Richard, what does Bob Bob and Luba Lop and Boom be? And you some witchcraft, yo. yo. Like, listen, listen. My mom went up there and sang Amazing yeah. Grace. Yeah. Yo, you kind of like Lil Richard. You talking about your mom? Hold on. Okay. Hold on. And he went, to my mom, right he went to my mom and said, you have a great voice. My mom said, do I get a record deal? He said, no. <laughs> what do you think? Oh. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, don't bring the red tape over here either, man. You don't want to act it. Little Richard with Hey, yo, hey, yo, Smiley, yo. Close the phone break right now, man. You're in tears, yo. Little Richard. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. No, little Richard, little Richard, Richard I, I said you wanted yeah. this whole time. Hey, yo. Wow. He no goes to Linden Street. <laughs> yes. He, he yes. goes. He's yep. a seventh day Biggie and Tupac. Hey, oh, Tupac. Hold on. Biggie and Tupac. Yo, Biggie and Tupac fake it depth. If you ask me, but we just know another story. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh man. Little Richard and Little Richard. Little Richard goes to New London. How did we get to the point? Yo, alright. Let, let's yeah, take a walk. So. Let's take a walk through the genesis of this conversation, right? Yeah. Okay. We start with Migos. <laughs> <laughs> Are they the most influential group? Yeah. And then you said Mob Deep. 
You know you got diplomats hoodie on. You said um Foundation. You said uh uh play with flame and fucking enemy. You know what I'm saying? You said um Jackson Beastie Bond. Boys and Jackson Bond. Patriot, um, Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm going with Run DMC. Ooh. Yeah, Matt um, was a stunt double from Jam Master J. Hey, yo. You know? <laughs> he have a deal Russia, that bit him. And then all of a sudden, Ray just dropped a bombshell on the New London streets that Lil Richard be out here heavy. He's two blocks away. <laughs> Lil <laughs> Richard be at two Hey, the fifth. Oh, Hampton ain't even that block. He be at uh, Hot Rods over there, Bop Bop Baloo bopping. Hey, yo. <laughs> on that team, Bop Bop Baloo. Sing an amazing voice. <laughs> This poor yeah. guy. This story is why you need people to come in here and help you guys out. I and, love and, this. Yo, and that's hey, my yo. partner right there. <laughs> Uh, uh, hey, yo, smiley, we do, we do, smiley, can't run me, can't run me. Wedding crashes. Yo, Lil Richard be out here, man. Look at him crying. Yo, no, 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 not like that, bro. Hey, yo, Matt, wipe his eyes, man. You know you Matt, wipe his eyes, man. You know 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 Matt, Yo, you take one week off, yo, you just do it all for right now. Wow. We gotta go to commercial break. Anybody finds Lil Richard 500 and it's dinner for hey, 10 more, years. Hey, if me. anybody knows the more thing is hanging on Crystal Lab, let us but know. But you gotta find him tonight, you gotta right. take him out of his house. Yo, yeah. Okay. There's some jungle love on Crystal Lab we need to know about. Yo, hey, Richard. yo, hey, yo, we about to play Prince featuring Lil Richard. Uh, yeah. Best of both worlds here tonight. <laughs> I'm feeling like I ain't took a nap in weeks. weeks. I'm up, couple thousand tuck, writing back to G. In the I'm stuck, diamonds in the cut, make an actress see. Hey, Sports, drugs, and entertainment, think I'm Master P. Uh -huh. Yo, what? What's up? It's <laughs> 999. Yeah. Hey, yo. Okay, I'll We are back, our last segment, SDE Podcast. Gino Rico, um, has he had to run, he had to go. Him and, him and Elvis. He's gonna, yeah. he gonna find Lil Richard. Yeah, he's out there on the look for Lil Richard right now. Man. He wants that 500. I like. Oh, you got. I like to talk. But yo, listen, um, we're live on the radio. I know everybody can show with their Facebook, but we're yeah. actually live on the radio. Yeah, but, um, yeah, yeah we're gonna talk about the boy Trey Young, man. He kind of look like um, J Cole a little bit in the face. He plays like Steph Curry. What's your thoughts on the man, man? You think he, he you know what I mean, the flavor of the month, fluke, or you think he gonna actually have a, a future in the NBA? Okay, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm start off with this. Trey Trey Young. The boy can shoot the ball. Flat, plain, you know, plain and simple. He can shoot the ball. He hit That's five, incredible, six Matt. shots. Listen, that's I'm, incredible. That you know he can what? Shoot I, you know ball. what I hate? Here's what I. Hate. What did you just finish with? Go. Here's what I hate. You gotta do the been in the buildings for about thirty minutes, yeah. and he just be talking to him. Yeah. I I let him in the building. I ain't have to. And truthfully, I'm yeah. not done talking to him. You know I'm, so. I'm trying to make America great. And <laughs> Back he, um, oh wait, what? He trying to he trying to hate <laughs> hey, on me. Anyway, back to Trey Young. What is he's happening? frail. He's frail. That's my problem with Trey Young. He's frail. He's not. He's not an Allen Iverson type killer. And he's losing his hair already. Yeah, that that's looks a, crazy. That's a topic. That looks crazy. Yeah, Trey, yeah, he, 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 he loses his hair. He might be forty. Yeah. Hey, LeBron had that problem too. But yeah, but not you see his hair. He's anyway, Trey ball. Young. That's Trey Young easy. will be will be. Who has a lot the of hats? Buddy Hile, Buddy Hill, Hile, whatever. No, Buddy's no, last name. he no. shoots better. Than I, okay, let me ask you this, Matt. All right, look at Steph Curry. That's who they compare him to. Steph Curry, right? Okay. Steph Curry ain't really start putting up those gaudy numbers to his junior senior year. This kid is a freshman playing at a major conference. He wasn't going to Davidson like Steph. And I love Steph. Like Steph is great. But oh, yeah, why why like Trey is the first kid to add, um to lead the um the nation in points and assists. Uh, unless that changed in the past week Trey? or two. He only like six months. Six, six, oh, six, so about the same thing. Yes, he's, yeah. he's, okay. he's, he's, he's slow. He's they said the same thing about Steph, and Steph revolutionized the game. But listen. He does not have. About, he don't, um, he don't have Durant the, too. He don't have the handle that Steph old. has. He don't have the, the handle that Steph has. I don't think he has. First of all, he don't have the pedigree that Steph has. He's he's good for where he's at right now. Pedigree is a dog food. That don't matter, man. If you work on your game, you work on your <laughs> I game. Agree. Man. I agree. But yo, yo but, but Matt, he, Matt, 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 Matt. Light skin people stick together. <laughs> Yo, first off, you don't like skinny Puerto Rican. He likes skinny Puerto Rican. Hey, you. But, but yo, but yo, man, um, let me ask you this, man. The okay, kid, the kid, the kid's a freshman. He is a freshman. Why man. are you like, yo? He leads the nation in points and assists as a freshman. And we can get a good tournament. Like, I mean, <laughs> he's like four or five. That's it. Listen, you know what I did? Like, Norman, Norman, what's hey, up? 
Might do it million dollar deals on the side. Yeah, yeah Storm and Norman, what's up? <laughs> tell tell <laughs> Norman. Hey, hey, we need commission. That's on our airwaves. So we need Pat's all day. <laughs> Listen, Phil anyway. Davis is into this show for like two grand right now. Hey. <laughs> Little Richard, Mike, Mike hit me up for free food every Wednesday. <laughs> Matt, who, Matt, who drinks the place out. <laughs> and just so happens to leave. Hey, my cousin hey. Leo, who just, you know, he's my cousin from way back. I, I just and need Coach to buy Ray. some. Hey. <laughs> and Coach hey. Ray with that Little Richard story is worth like five grand. Hey, man. Because that's the worst story. Story I've ever heard. Honestly. No, you know, you go to church. And you cried because you were lying. And you, no, and it's God, true. And God is coming down on you. No, no, hey, no. God coming knows. on 929, there's, there's consequences coming on 929. Yeah. <laughs> there's consequences. You got, yo. You got to pay that. Little no. Richard went to church. <laughs> yeah. He, he goes to over there. He hey, yo, no more Little Richard, man. And Bill Cosby didn't do it. No, no. He did it. Oh. OJ yeah. didn't do it. OJ, oh. the glove don't fit. Must have quit. quit. If you remember, we anyway, were Trey Young to, to Bill Richards to Bill Cosby. This is my love. Yo, yo we're going to change the show from <laughs> STD <laughs> to ADD, yo. As long as it ain't STD. No STD, no. No, no, no. None of that. Yo, this is the ADD podcast. That's why we're buying sex dolls. What? So back to last week? What? Put them in any position. Oh, my goodness. Put them in any position. Yo, you one of the crime families. We don't have sex dolls. No, no, no. Mike. Mike is going to buy two stalls. No, no, no. 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 It's income tax check. That's what he said. <laughs> I can't afford a money income tax. I'm not getting back enough. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so you're going to buy a I'm getting a big income tax return. Smiley, don't laugh behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> don't. I don't know what's going on. Hey, yo, we talking, we talking about Trey Young, man. Yo, cut his mic off. Mike off. Mike off. Wow, yeah. he's done. Hey, yo, Matt, Trey talking about Trey Young. All right, so back to Trey Young. Trey Wood. I think he'll be a nice role player at the next level. He can shoot the ball, yes, but can he defend? There's gonna be bigger. There's gonna be bigger guards than there are in the in the college game. Well, listen, I watched that game last night, Oklahoma game. He dropped forty-four and nine. Yeah, wow. but he shot. He took like six shots from 33 feet or oh, deeper, deeper, and uh, shot, nobody stepped out on him. Hey, yo, so Matt, that tells me are, the college kids are, are, are dumb. Yo, are you that much of a traditionist? Tradi ah, I can't talk. Traditionalist. Come on, Mike. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. My mic is off. Good. Traditionalist. All right, come on, Mike, back on. You said it for me. Yeah, yeah you know. um, what I'm saying is, yo, you, yeah. yo, I'm gonna have to help. The whole new landscape of basketball now are the little mini Steph Curry's. Like, yeah. Kids coming out here. Putting up these crazy numbers as a freshman, like you can't just like look past it. Okay, so what do you do? You see, man. After you, after you knock down a 33 foot jumper, what do you have to do? Play defense after. Right. Okay. This man weighs 140. He's not. And, then, the and then they say that about Steph. And then they say about Steph. He's not bad on Steph don't play D. You got to Well, so the goal to get Hold on. You can't. Really you can't say that because he always leads the league in steals, no matter how he gets it. He leads the league in steals. Who does? Or usually at the top. Steph. Steph. So you can say, oh, he played passing lanes. He does, it doesn't matter. Okay, he helps his team. Okay, Steph can't guard LeBron one on one, but he plays passing lanes. He gets steals. He gets a steal. He gets his team turnovers that he needs to make them score. It okay. doesn't matter let's if he can play one on one Dunn. defense. Let's talk about Chris Dunn. Yeah, let's talk about that. What's your thoughts on him, man? Unbelievable front person. First of all, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. that's the number one no. thing. Yeah. But I gotta tell you, talking about what Coach just said, Chris Dunn can shoot. But he could play D. So you gotta give something to get some. So all of these schools, Providence College and the pros, like yo, this kid plays mad defense, and we'll work on this jump. That's all they gotta do. So what they're gonna do with the kid from Oklahoma, Trey, is okay, say, okay, so. you can shoot it. We're gonna work on your D. Yeah. So you can't don't so, sideline. It's but one of the best. Is, and and defense bad. is fixable. Defense is yes, fixable. It it's really like is. it's effort and who are you gonna talk about defense after you got dumped on in New Haven? Oh, oh. oh. two times. Oh, Lord. Right, man. Is that a good point? Right, you're right. You, you, really didn't, you really didn't play that much defense. Bro. I did play defense. I listen. As a, <laughs> let me turn around to my kid. Oh, 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 yeah. Yo, yeah. Yo, everybody, yo, everybody, grab your cups. Hey, oh, grab your phones. Hey, Matt, move. <laughs> In America, as a freshman, <laughs> I averaged damn near triple double. At what school? Points, blocks, say burners, any? And rebounds. Say burners? No. Oh, at New London, where we beat. I mean, no, at, at, at Montville, I'm sorry, at Montville, where well, we beat New London because they don't box out. Um, so, that being said, I was one of the greatest defensive centers to ever step foot in the ECC. No question. No, no question. question. No question. No question. You was one listen, of the what? The best defensive. Listen, as much as much as I blocked your man's shot because you were standing at the other three point line talking about I'm open. Oh, they had three point lines? Yo, listen. You Cameron one on one, get it off. on the board. Mike Paul. <laughs> I don't have, I thought yo, it was like, 
Listen, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not. You gotta realize the type of defense that we played. Olay was in your face. Yeah, it was Olay. My, Matt blocked the shot. Nobody ever got back there to you. Can, can I? Can we can get back to me. Can no. I really jump Matt, in? You no. average two no. blocks a game. I have. I wish I, I was a I wish I was around. Mike, you're the, you're the host of the show. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, man, man, I'll let you stare at the, floor, at the man. camera, man. So, iPhone, right? I'm, I'm the they they didn't stop at iPhone one. They kept changing, so the iPhone I'm the two. Best, iPhone, best defense. Matt's over here talking about junior high school blocks. You didn't even keep track. You yeah. you I keep track. iPhone six, iPhone what? eight, what? right? I mean, they keep changing. Nike. The they didn't yeah. stop with their Jordans. They keep no, coming. Yeah, the no, game's no. changing, so the kids that change with the game. Man, right now, it's five out. Yeah, five bro. guards out, and and they, they the I, game I, has changed. Yeah, completely. I mean the big men kind of been. Rendered useless. It's like four right, out one right, now. So now it's right. five out. Oh, it's you take it. You talk to the college coaches now. They're like, we're taking the oh, first no, five players. My senior year, I was one through five. I actually had a jump ball. I'm five ten. Like I had a a, a, a nightmare of a season as far as a team concept. I actually had a jump ball at five ten. My guy at two K, he's having <laughs> <a> trouble <laughs> right now too. Guy, the my guy, guy at two K. Yo, you had a choice to make him seven foot seven with a ninety nines across the board. You make him your height. I made him my height. Okay, hey Mike, I don't mean to get play the game wrong. I don't mean to get mad now. Ask yeah. him his free throw shoot percentage. What is your free throw shoot? I shot eighty percent from the free throw line. When? When? What, 2K? Pull out the box scores. Do my career. Pull out the, the box scores. Where's the stats at? Yeah. Where's the Matt. stats at? I ain't miss. Pull out the box scores. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't miss, but you shot 80%? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, that's why I'm at 8 Hold on, hold on. I ain't miss. I'm only 20% of the time. I'm going to keep it 100, though. I'm going to be real. 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 I'm going to be The best all around basketball play that I've ever seen Little Richard was Matt. Matt. At, at at his height, Matt could dribble, he could shoot the three, he could attack the basket, he could play defense. Matt did it all. I take that. I, yo, I'm not I'm not gonna but hey, yo, what was what was Matt plus minus? I wanna yeah, know no, that. I'm gonna tell you, Matt's only problem Analytics, was what's his PR? Analytics. No, his Matt's only problem was Matt was lazy. I was not lazy, I was reserved. Okay, so That's maybe a better way to put it is you didn't put it in to get your full potential. If Matt, yeah. if, if, that? If, if Matt would have actually Honestly, if I, I tell everybody this, if, at, if Matt would have actually like work hard. worked yeah, harder and did what he's supposed to do, yeah. <laughs> you'd have had a career just like Vinny. Because <laughs> yeah. at, at that time, to me, hey, yo, Matt was better than, better than Vinny. Better than Vinny. Hey, yo, yo, Matt. Hey, yo, I, I, give Matt, I give Matt a hard time, man. Matt's one of the greats, man. That's my big brother. He's one of the greats. But, yo, this is the last segment, so I want to finish a couple subjects before we go. And this is one thing I want to ask you, but I didn't ask because you was off for the past couple segments, but I gave you a chance to get your bearings back. What do you think about the Giants' move of bringing in the new head coach and defensive coordinator? What's well, your thoughts on that, Let me man? talk about Pat Shermer. They call him Pat Shermer the, the quarterback whisperer. And I think that you cannot deny the quarterback, the subpar quarterbacks that he made. Actually, it's a really good quarterback, just seeing their strengths and then working with them. Now, Eli, we know Eli is in the twilight of his career. Wow, this guy has though. me smart. <laughs> anyway, he's in the twilight of his hey, career. Jeff, uh, and um, he's gonna take he's gonna take Eli's strengths right now, and he's gonna work with it. Now he knows that he has an ace in his back pocket with that second pick. You gotta find his replacement. You gotta find his Aaron Rodgers. He's gonna find Pat Shermer. No matter what he does, whether you what do you say about him, he knows quarterbacks. He's gonna take the best quarterback. We're, we're gonna say Josh Allen's going first because the Browns fall in love with Josh Allen. That oh, means that, Rosen. No, no, we're gonna take Josh Rosen. Yeah. So with ah. Rosen. And what he does, almost as a packet passer as well, Pat, Pat Shermer's going to have a field day with that guy. And you still have Davis Webb, who has, probably has the best arm out of all three. It, the Giants are going to be something else. And, and they have a, I think the biggest move was the defensive coordinator with, uh, with Batman. And, uh, yeah, it's who me that I'm a Giants fan. I don't know much about that. All right. He, they, took, they took the, the D.C. from the Cardinals. And wherever he's been, he has the top 10 defense everywhere. He has never been lower than a top 10 defense. Now, you have a defense that's already been established as elite. It took a step back this year. Now, when you have a fresh face, a, 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 just a whole, new, a whole new vibe there, that defense could be something else, man. But I got to tell you, the Giants or any team, we want Leo to be the quarterback right now. If we put Leo out there, the offensive line is the key. But it's Leo Mobile though. I'm looking at him. I'm gonna say Leo probably won't Leo, move. Leo, Leo, you a pocket no, pass? He's gonna move very far. <laughs> but I'm saying that. <laughs> if the offensive line gave gave Matt protection, 
Then they can throw, they can run, they can do everything. So that offensive line. But you know what? Minnesota's offensive line is not, it wasn't that good. But you know what? He got the ball out the quarterback's hand. And McAdoo, his first year, almost did it when he just had to focus on offense. But now you know, he was a head coach and he it, yeah. it just got all all over the place. With Pat Shermer, who's, who, said, who already said, I'm calling the plays and that's it. I don't know. It's yeah, going to be something to see. Sure, and you got Odell back. You have probably Jarvis Landry. In the free agency, in my opinion. So yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be something else, man. We just got a shot of Leo's mobility issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> like, mm -hmm. oh my god. Hey, yo, Matt, are you gonna be <laughs> here for Saturday show? We, yo, yo. By the way, we are gonna have a special <laughs> Saturday Super Bowl uh, Saturday, night show. What time? Got, you know, I got. I got don't know time yet. We'll listen to it. I'm trying to get good too. Yeah, yeah, cause, I mean, it's a big day for your team, man. It is, it is. It is. My squad's going to go out there and get up. We're going to have the boy no nicknames in the building. No Eagles nicknames. all day. No nicknames. Oh, who's wait? Eagles all day. We're not out. Well, we. <laughs> I'm part of the panel. Yeah, yeah, what's um, up? What's that? Who's winning the Super Bowl? We already named our names. Let's start with you. I didn't say that. Oh, I'm going to say the Eagles. Oh, we never did that. Uh, yeah. We didn't do it today, but we did yeah. last Philly. Oh, that's right. I'm going for Philly. Too. Philly? Wow. You going Philly? Huh? I'm going Philly. Hey, did you guys see how much money is is going to be betted on this game? Oh, four, oh, um, four point something million. Billion. Billion. Yeah. Billion. Ain't that every year? No, no. This, no, this, this, is, this, one this is, is the biggest, biggest ever yeah. in Super Bowl history. But yo, but yo, 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 I mean, saying the Eagles should be the underdogs because like they don't have Carson Wentz. So it's, who, who's the most? But we've been money saying on? that the whole playoffs. Is Gronk playing? He's, he's, yeah, he's playing. Yeah, he's he ain't gonna be the same. He's playing. One hit, he's out. You don't have to be the same. Yo, all you gotta do is just Philly, like hold GB it together. TB12. You know how like people got fake DUIs? Jacksonville and had it. That's all man. you gotta do. Jacksonville had They did the blueprint. They had it. That's all Grove They're inexperienced. Their uh, inexperience lost them that game. Protocol. The, I, it, was, it wasn't even an experience, man. No, they, they, they made a lot their, of dumb plays. It's their coach. A lot of dumb say, plays. Coaches. Our Patriots, baby. They have coaches a good coach. Six, no, no, no. What, what happens though, when coming. you coach, sometimes you all coach yourself. It wasn't that. Right. It was the players. Like, like, I think it was like, the Jags did. No, one thing Matt said that made a lot of sense, and when we was watching the game, he said these dudes are playing not to lose. Like so no. when, when when you're up, and if you watch the Patriots, the Patriots could be up by like 25 points. They still going for that juggler. They're throwing the ball. They do, they're not trying to I run think the that comes with inexperience as well. That's a young team. That's the oldest the, it's, player is what, 28? It's not, it's, it's not the team. It's, it's the... Your offensive coordinator not having confidence in your quarterback. Well, I mean, that's Blake Bortles. Right. I mean. if, if you have confidence in your quarterback. But that running game was working, man. That running game was they, working. They took him out the game. The running back, they took out the game. <laughs> What's his name? Um, Fournette? No, no, no. The kid with the Y. Um, Yeldon? Yeldon. Okay. He didn't play the whole second half. Okay. I think in, in that in that wheel route where, where Yeldon comes out the backfield and uh, when yeah. Fournette missed it, Yeldon yeah. catches that and he right. scores. Yeldon didn't play the whole second half. That wheel route, that's Yeldon's, that's Yeldon's play. Fournette doesn't do that. Yeah, that, that and he was team. wide open. Under, but he if you think wide. about it. He didn't go for it, though, man. That was you, a horrible effort. Right. If you think about a Bortles in that it. game, he underthrew it. about three or four guys that were wide open for touchdowns. That, that's last, Bortles, that last man. play that... Um, Oh boy, tipped away. That was underthrown. Yeah. Hold on. That whole that also. I wasn't here for last week. That pass interference was BS. No, was that ball. That that ball was uncatchable. It was passing. And they no, it was not pass interference. It was, 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 it was yeah. not pass interference, man. I wish somebody never played football before. Oh, okay. Well. All right. That's not pass interference. Right, right. I'm a receiver, and I'm saying that's not pass interference. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let the host wrangle in and pause. Like, yo, she just everybody, everybody, everybody get their picks, and then uh, uh, we're going to get more depth of our Saturday episode, man. Coach, you got the pass. We can just pass by you. Who you got, Ray? I'm going with I'm going with New England. As much as I don't like to, I'm going with New England, man. It's just that's what it is. Uh, the most blazingest Leo drill, whatever. Big through the extra blazing one. Yeah, there you, you know go. I mean? Yeah, we got. Come on, come on, man. I want to see your highlights, man. You get a catch. Hold yeah. on, he's showing some pro am. Yeah. Send me pro man, highlights. Dude, Listen, man. that sounds like a tight music in the back. No, no. When I score, they you play some banana crime. Don't Listen, forget about it. We got fake Victor Cruz right here, man. What do we got? Who we got going with? I'm going to Philadelphia. Yeah. Me too, cousin. You going to Philadelphia? Philly Eagles. Philly. And hey, you got Philly? Got him. Say yeah. Say hey, Mike, let me ask you something. Hey, you was a Giants fan hey, too. Yeah. And it's like the Giants. I was. I am. If the Giants, if the Giants watching this Super Bowl, they're supposed to be Philly type of way. 
Why do we feel a type of way about New England? They never beat us in the Super Bowl. I know, we don't feel no way. We, we we every time care. we get there, Eli busts Tom Brady ass. We don't care about New England winning the Super Bowl. Why we bust Tom Brady ass like every year. So We nah. don't care. And as for Philadelphia, we could say, hey, the champion came out of the division. I want this city yeah, to win. Yeah. 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 I want the city of Philadelphia. I, I want to see Philly win. I don't know if they're going to start throwing batteries at everybody. I want to see Philly win, though, man. I want to see Philly win. Right, Big Matt? We don't care. Uh, and yo, and yo, and yo, because the name is. don't have to care. Uh, uh, unless y'all got another, unless y'all got another take on the sports thing, I just want it because it's sports drinks and entertainment SDE, and for those who may not uh, may not know, it's from the Cameron album Sports Drugs and Entertainment. But we're not doing drugs; we drink it. We want to talk about entertainment. All right, this is a, a, a topic that's near and dear to my heart. There's rumors going around. There's going to be a Martin reboot. Reboot. Excuse me. Reboot. 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 Martin. Reboot. Martin, Martin Lawrence. Right. Martin. They are going to bring the show back, kind of like Full House did with Fuller House on Netflix. They feel bad for him. All right, Tom, Big Tommy died. Rest in peace to Tommy. Full House got another twin? Yeah, they came out with Fuller House. Fuller House. It's on Netflix. Oh, my and they read a book. My stepdaughters watch that. Well, yeah. Regular. Now, now rumors are coming out that um, Mark, Mark, Mark Lawrence's fiance said she posted something on Instagram saying that they're bringing Martin back. Wow. What's your thoughts on that? Like, should How they leave it alone? Huh? How much is a ginger ale? You charge me for everything else. How much is this? Oh, uh, that's another G right there. That was, oh, yeah, it's okay. a flat ginger ale. So I took a half, so I owe you five hundred. Ah, that worked. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got I got the thing on my my phone. It's like a um um two hundred dollar uh, surcharge. We got scales here. <laughs> nah, man, Mike, you good, man. You drink all the flat ginger ale all you want, man. You, and um. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> you should been here for weeks. That ginger ale been there since my my first episode. That was from the first episode, man. We don't lie. We we said flat. I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. flat lines so, no, but I, no, but no, let me ask you, it's like, if it actually happens, do you think does it actually kind of <laughs> take away from the legacy of the Martin show? I don't think so, because it's, it's still there. I think it's going to hurt without Tommy. I think Tommy brought an element there that it was just different. He was almost like the, he was their boy, but he also had the woman's side all the time, and, and he had a different perspective on things, and he was a drug dealer. No, he wasn't. Tommy was a drug dealer. No, he wasn't. You, you watched the early episodes. He gave back to the youth, and he was a um. um so did Frank White. Turkeys. He gave out turkeys. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yo, I didn't know it was ten thirty. Yeah, it's kind of late. What's that mean? So everybody's gonna cut out the middle show. Oh, 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 you still want? <laughs> no, so listen. We still on. <laughs> no, that's wrong. I'll be honest with you. Thank you for everything. It's been great. Now, Mike, listen, thanks listen. for coming through, man. Absolutely. And yeah, so we're gonna have Philomena's next Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right here. Listen. Oh, actually, Mikey plays next week. Yeah. Yeah, we got to fight. Yeah, we're gonna senior do night. Senior night at Waterford High School next Wednesday. Yeah, see, we can get you guys should get next Wednesday. Day. Matter of fact, we should set up a little corner, live Facebook, with microphones. Why Yo, not? Yo, what are you saying? Facebook live. All we need is Wi-Fi. We're in the corner. They Yo. got it. It's they got Wi-Fi. Yo. I'll steal the code. Yo, hook it up. Borrow the code. Okay. Yo. Yo. So <laughs> next Wednesday. Mikey's got a game I think you guys should make. Hey, hey, before you go though, what's your thoughts on Martin coming back? I know you watch Martin, man. You know um, that. No, Martin, he's got some issues. Uh, he went through some problems, but he's probably not going to do well. I think they feel bad for him or his cousin's one of the producers or whatever. So, um, No, he yeah. went to rehab. He, he, mean, he, no, he went to good. He, he went to church over there in New London. Him and Lil Richard went to <laughs> church. They they found God. And um, I don't think Martin is um, going to connect with the kids of today. I don't see it. Some people will watch it, but like so Friends. So Shanae not going to work? Friends, you know, nah, show Friends comes back, cats. it's old school, they'll watch it. But you can't bring Shanae back. You can bring yeah. Shanae back. You know what? You're funny, What you know, you're funny like like Matt. He was good 20 years ago. He's thick now. He, <laughs> <laughs> like, Martin was funny 20 years ago. Well, you're going to come with that same stuff. He, he better yeah. come with some really new... No, I, I, think, I don't know. I don't know. Like, now, Kevin Hart? Kevin is it going to be awkward? Is it going to be kind of an awkward thing with Gina and yeah. Martin? Like... Like, I want to say hi, I but I can't say hi. And so I, wanna... I think what they should do, because my favorite show was um, Fred Sanf Sanford's son. Mm -hmm. Him and Lamont. Mm -hmm. That was the best show ever. Can't bring that mm -hmm. back. Just bring that back. Just put can't it on every Tuesday back. instead of Martin. Bring back the, uh, the Red Fox hologram. Red Fox. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Red Fox is unbelievable. Shout out to Charles Burgess. Right. But thanks, 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 thanks again, Mike. Mike. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. It was great. Yeah, man. Thank you. Good to meet you. Philomena's. Philomena's. Philomena catering in the next episode. Next, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna be there. An order of calamari for everybody. Just, <laughs> just one order. All right. We share. We got to share.
I think Matt left. <laughs> or one drink sipping pass. We yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go to a table, Mike. It's on the air. I say, oh, listen, I won't buy you guys a drink. They're like, oh, that's cool. Everybody, yep, one drink, four straws. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one drink, four straws. Not a scorpion bowl right. either. Uh, oh, banana crime family, help. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, let's keep that over here, but not gonna sit down next week. Don't no worry. Hey, <laughs> crime family. Hey, hey, Leo, man, what's, no your, what's your thoughts on that though? Man? Yeah, Mark, come, come back, man. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm old school dude, so Martin to me is that's my man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll watch it. You, know, you give an episode or two? It's like but but you, you know what it is? Like, like they said, with the younger kids, they might not a, it might not appeal to them. It's like us with with um garbage and No, 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 no. Like um Richard Pryor. My parents and all of them used to think Richard Pryor's funny. I watch Richard Pryor and I really don't see too much humor in it. Oh, really? You know what I mean? I mean, this, this, he has his He has, I, I agree. But I agree. to yeah. me, his comedy's not. Yeah, because like, yo, I'm with you on that because like, I yo, with you. when Martin Lawrence was popping, he was on Def Comedy Team. He was lighting everybody up from the stage, clowning people, mm -hmm. and then he carried on to his show. He was just on fire. Mm -hmm. Are you checking for Martin Lawrence right now? I love Martin Lawrence. I mean, yo, quiet is kept. If anybody has any common sense, if you watch Martin, it was called WZUP. Mm -hmm. We couldn't get that because it was a, a reggaeton radio station <laughs> out there in North Carolina who owned that, so we got WDUP. So this station is inspired paying by homage. We are paying homage to Martin Lawrence. That's a big word, I know. Look it up. Homage. Public yeah. school. Yeah. Homage, not homage. I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. Yeah, hey, yo, man, I know you played overseas in Israel or something. Tell me for a minute. He said Israel. He was Israelite. He was Israelite. Jerusalemite. He over there saying screams for uh, Peter or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, yo, yo, one thing, too. One of the disciples, man. I want to say one thing too. Hey, yo, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, yo, make sure you also catch us on the um, they play on the dirt joint. And what up, WDUP 92.9. Yeah, make sure you go to YouTube and catch us on that. Tune in at me. Yo, subscribe to that because listen, we talk about everything from Little Richard to to James Harden scored the 61. And you can actually see what really takes place. And then we talk about the last supper of Star Five with Matt. Yeah. Oh my god. Hey yo, camera one on me. This has been a very religious, anti religious episode with some old school topics. We just hope that you guys enjoy it. That's it. Hey, yo. Tune in on the TuneIn app. Yeah. WDUP. Yeah. A lot of people tune in on it, huh? A lot of people do. Yeah. No pun intended. We got to tell more people, though. We got to get more uh, people. Oh, by the way, uh, I don't know if y'all missed it already. YouTube. I don't know if y'all missed it already, but 929WDUP.com. We get about 20 to 30 uh, hits per month. Thousand. I don't know. I didn't say thousand? Yeah, I didn't say thousand. Yeah. Well, I said 20 to 30. That's what he said. 20 or 30 K, that's what I wanted to say. Okay. It just sounds more sophisticated. K. Yeah. That's what does that K stand for when you say that? Yeah, what does what? No, cool. What, but why? Coach him. It's, um, it's, it's Roman numeral. No, hey, yo, Leo, I'm going to ask you because you kind of look like, you look like Makai Pfeiffer and Pay the Fool right now. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yo, what, yo, what does the K stand for? <laughs> yeah. Whoever looked at me wrong. I can't, I can't <laughs> okay. sound me. 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 Yo, this is the real Money Mitch right here. Oh, man. Put the camera on him. Money Mitch right there. Yeah, yo, yo, when you get the gold mic. Yeah, man. To understand voice Ace and the Beamer, you got to understand Ace and the Cleaners. Yeah. And um, I guess we'll leave it at that. We right. about to, wow. We, what a... Bars. Yeah, man. Bars. Bars. We about to just get into um number silence for... um. um Razoo Butler. There you go. Featuring Razoo Flavor Flav. For two, two minutes. Hey, I'm feeling like I ain't took a nap in weeks I'm up, couple thousand tuck, writing back the G I'm stuck, diamonds in the cut, make an actress see Sports, drugs, and entertainment, think I'm Master P